Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Off. I'm your host, The Monster, and let's get back into it. In the previous episode, we were stuck on a puzzle. So, in between episodes, I attempted to solve this puzzle, puzzle in hopes of actually having some sort of progress in this video, and I solved it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go pick up this page from this dude because he, this page has enlightened him and it is trading him because that is a word and I have to buy it from him for a hundred credits so alright so we take this page which is the page of hearts and we put it with the other heart pages pretty much the puzzle was asking for us to take all the different pages and put them with their proper suit so that's what we're gonna go do right now all right, so this one should be the heart suit. So I think, oh, everything is in order here. Okay, good. So that's where all the hearts go. I think that noise I just heard was my confirmation noise. Everything is in order here. Good. Then if everything's in order over here, then everything is good. Yep. Let's get out of here. All right, now. We have to go tell the front desk person that we have finished fixing all the books. And this will be as far as I know. I have put the pages back into their books! Aha! That, that is very good. I'll let you up then. That, that's great. The fourth floor is now accessible for you and only you. Okay, so now we can progress up to the fourth floor and hopefully do things that are good for me and progress hey a save point saving is always we're high up saving is always good all right let's go onward and upwards all right so oh hey the cat it's been a while since we've seen him who who are you oh what is in your hand you are not the judge is it different cat the judge no no i am not my name is Daphet. I am the creator of the city. I am also the one leading the phantoms, the royal instruments of my vengeance. You're the chief of specters? Specifically, they are my arms, sent to me by the queen to restore justice to this zone. You must have been very determined to have set foot on the stairs of this library. I recognize you are a certain courage, an exceptional trait for a fear-ridden place such as this. However, my vengeance will not leave anyone unpunished. Thus, you shall be the first to succumb to my blast of my ectoplasmic army. Okay, so I have to fight this dude. I do not need any specters yet to eliminate you, you poor sport pajama wearing clown. I will finally get a taste of justice. Okay, so I'm going to punch him in the face. Actually, I wonder if I can scan how much health he has. Unknown. Attack. Alto. Okay, he doesn't seem to do too much damage at all, so that's pretty good. Oh, I am mute. Okay, well, I guess Alto will just punch him successfully. There he is, home run. Alright, so I guess is he related to the judge at all? Because he's also a cat, the only other cat that I've seen in this realm. I forgot, I can't use competencies. Only the batter can. Your spirit is a valiant one, and your arms are made of its image. I must confess that I may have underestimated you. Unfortunately for you, I would discard all, discard all manners as a gentleman were necessary, especially for a new enemy. Spectres, come to me. Dance together and echo the song of the righteous. The torment of my men heals my wound. The torment of men heals my wounds. Your body will feed the intangible spirits for eternity. Phantoms. Phantoms, come to me, I command you. Curses, by what magic, baleful human, do you manage to prevent the ectoplasmic acto acolytes from joining me? No matter, you will taste my wrath. Oh. Huh? Oh gosh. I am low on health. Oh man, darn it. The batter. Oh wait, what are you doing? Uh, heal him. Save second base. Punch him in the face. Alright, let's heal yourself. Good. It seems to only want to attack out Alpha. I wonder why. Go! Yeah! So I 
think we're almost done with this boss fight. Yeah! Adversary is purified with 30 XP and such. Abandoned meat. Abandoned meat. <sighs> Poor fool. It is not yet time for me to reveal my true nature. Still know that you will gain nothing by waiting, obnoxious buffoon. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, hey, another add-on. Add-on Omega has joined me. I can equip him with one of the 11 things I accidentally purchased. Persistent symbol. This one seems to be better. Aura of Justice. Color of Pain. Alright, good. I have two allies. Oh god, what is... Okay. So, the only way we can go now is down. Which I guess is alright. Maybe one of the other areas have opened up. Alright, let's go. Onwards we go. Gosh, this library is very... Bleak and blue and kind of depressing. What do you tell me? Are you alright? Did you not get hurt? Well, at any rate, I saw a cat. I expect it to be by the south entrance. Okay, maybe it's the judge. Hey, it's the judge! Greetings, dear immaculate comrade. Has your journey not taken you to a place of optimum conditions? This is a dry area compared to the previous surroundings. I must admit that for I, for one, am delighted. The feline gent is not very fond of rain. I have heard from an old friend that the shopping mall in the northern part of the city has fallen victim to ectoplasmic assaults. Perhaps it would be wise for you to hurry on over there and illuminate it with your purifying light. Alrighty, let's go take care of some phantoms for the market. Alright, and then we go this way. That's a very... Uh, Disorienting. Maybe Zachary has some new things. <laughs> Buenos dias, dear ones. So what better place to shop than a shopping mall? Okay, so. So, do you have any good things? Oh. Okay, so. The only one that would benefit from anything would be the newest add on Aura, fear. Okay. Not much that I can- ooh, hey, I can give him an ulna epidermis. Don't you dare buy eleven. Okay. Hey, color of sadness. I can buy two. Or, yeah, that, that's the one I want. Alright, so, let's equip things real quick. You are going to use the color of sadness. You're going to get that. And then you're going to get the color of sadness as well. Done with that, everyone is ready to go. I wonder what that new add-on can do specific. Oh no! Uh, nothing happened. Okay, so now that I can explore this area, this back here, this is an ad for metal floors. And we all know where we get metal from. As gross and disgusting as it is, uh, I should have thought that was. Alright, let's. Where am I supposed to. Hey, a treasure chest! What's in this? A fortune ticket has been found. Alright, I don't know if there's any specters down here. Down, then to the left, and then down again. What the? I was just over there. This is disorienting. Okay. Nope. That doesn't work. Oh gosh. Spectres. Oh gosh, huge rats. I should kill them. Dead. Oh, no, I don't want to use the wide angle. Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Attack. Omega, what is your competency? Cures blindness. Oh, you're a optimized blur. You're a healer, I guess. Go! Oh. oh wow, batter, you hit really hard now. But that was a crit, so I shouldn't be too excited. Go! Yeah, you hit normally for 71. Okay. Yeah, EXP for everyone. So, do I go up this one? Or into the- oh, okay, I do. This place is weird. Yes, I would like to save here. Because this would stop me from wandering around in circles again. Wait. Now I'm lost. What is this? Okay. There's a mannequin there. There's a mannequin over this way. 
Because those follow the mannequins. Hey, that worked. I found something. I'm lost. I can make a fire with boxes to ward off the ghosts. But would, that would be too dangerous. Yes, that would be too dangerous. Because, you know, setting fire to boxes when you're in close proximity to them is not generally a good idea. Wait, let's go up. That was some random lag. Alright, so what I... I'm just following where I see mannequins. Okay, so I need to go up here. Bring away adversary taken by surprise. Go! Everyone punch them! Huzzah! It worked. Everyone punch them! Yeah! Good job, Alpha. We already have Alpha and Omega. What's next? Better reach level 9. What's up here? Hey, a treasure chest. Two pieces of silver flesh have been found. That's nice. Kind of disturbing, but nice. Let's go down and around. And then up. And up again. Hey, it's the judge. I think. Oh no, this is the judge. What is he doing here? Is this not publicly so effective and efficient whilst defying the basics of consumer marketing? For silkier hair, it's the meat bones of Alma. Oh, you can read? Anyway, I'm glad to have found you. Maybe you can help me unravel the mystery of the fate that has been placed before me. It turns out that my brother has been living in this area for many years. He has a special affinity for colors of the cool kind, you see. Unfortunately, I have so far failed to cross his path. I have tried to retake myself to the roof of the library where he resides. However, I found the door closed. Even the long hours of intensely repeated meowing and compulsive scratching did not do a thing. Well, normally they do do a thing, but I guess not this time. My request is as follows. If at the bend of the corridor you happen to see Valerie, give him my greetings. Okay. That's nice. Through silkier hair, the meat bones of Alma. That's still disturbing. Fountains that just produce meat. What the? How'd I get out here? I called the Pal Palado, but what's the point of me calling one of those right now? Okay. I need to go somewhere, but I don't know how. What was the point of me being in here? Or did I already solve the puzzle? I don't know. Alright, after this fight, I'm gonna go investigate the outside. Maybe I can get to where that water area was earlier. And if so, that'd be great. Let's go. Oh gosh. No, Omega, you've been silenced. Alright, now we just gotta kill the rat thing. Whatever. Yeah, this is a disturbing little rat. Well, it's not little anymore, it's more huge and just terrifying. Alright, luck ticket and silver flesh has been found. That's good. It's good that I'm finding tickets and pieces of flesh. Because you know, that's perfectly normal in this world. Especially fountains of meat. And who doesn't think that isn't normal? So I, let me call this thing again. I don't know exactly what that does for me. But I did it! The thing I did. And let's go! Alright, so let's go over to the left. So it's this way, up. And then we go down. Hey, it's here. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, plastic. Alright, let's go in here. Now, if I recall correctly, this is the amusement park? Yes, it is. Hey, a balloon! Fortune ticket has been found. From here... Maybe 74 minutes. Well then. That's unfortunate. From here, maybe 39 minutes. That's still very unfortunate. Alright. What a terribly frightening place. At least there are no fan phantoms to be found here. Why are they afraid of a park? Perhaps the room that lies beyond this door will cease to exist if I enter. And then I would fall endlessly into an abyss which in itself does not even exist. What a terribly frightening thought. I should probably stay here. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> Choosing between three attractions is too difficult for me. Oh, wow. Putting water in a room is a really crazy concept. We're definitely in a, we're definitely in a park. You mean plastic, right? Do not approach the physical plastic. Okay. 
Balloon game. Due to loud noises, this attraction is not recommended for the faint of hearted. Okay. Roller coaster. Completely safe for the full family. Good. The cruise of happiness. Wander down a bed of roses in security and serenity. So the only dangerous game for them would have to be the balloon game. Alrighty then. Well, I think that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to explore this totally safe amusement park. And probably go off to the left first, because why not? So that's for the next episode. Until then, this has been The Monster, and see you around.